Welcome to our lesson on composite functions. So a composite function is when you put one function into another. And the order in which you put these functions into each other is determined by the way they are written. So for question A, we're going to work out fg of x. And because the f is on the outside, g is on the inside, this means we're going to put g of x into f of x. So we start our function with x, and from x we're going to move to g of x, which in this case is x minus 1. And then g of x goes in to f of x, which is here, and this function is x squared. So this function x minus 1 goes in to the x squared. So we have x minus 1, which is this bit here and then we are squaring it so this is a function fg of x in terms of x we could expand the bracket if we wanted to but at this point it is not necessary and for question b we're going to work out fg of 2 and the difference between here and here is that the value of x is now 2 so x is equal to 2 which means we're going to substitute this value of x with 2. So fg of 2 is 2 minus 1 squared. And 2 minus 1 is 1, and 1 squared is 1. So fg of 2 is 1. And for question c, we've got fg of 10. So now x is equal to 10. So we're going to substitute x as 10. So we have... 10 minus 1 squared, which is 9 squared, which is 81. So fg of 10 is 81. Okay, let's move on to the next question. In this question, we have the same two functions, f of x and g of x, but now we've got a different composite function where we are putting f of x into g of x. Do you want to try and write this in our function machine here? And then work out questions A, B and C. You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So to begin with, we're putting f of x into g of x. So f of x goes first. And this is x squared. And then this goes in to g of x, which is x minus 1. So we're putting x squared in place of x. So we have x squared minus 1. And for question b, you can see that x is now 5. We're going to substitute this value of 5 in place of x. So g f of 5 is equal to 5 squared minus 1. 5 squared is 25, take away 1. Is 24. And for question C, gf of negative 2. Again, we'll substitute the negative 2 into the x term. So we have negative 2 squared minus 1. Negative 2 squared is 4. And 4 minus 1 is 3. Okay, thank you for watching and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.